tell them that. All right, so we just finished. Okay, so we finished the next hour. We got past midnight, and then we got to, um, I guess, 1 o'clock it is, until uh scared the hell out of me. The, Emily jumped out at us right as we got to the part. And um, I'm still confused about this game. I don't think there's a story. I think you're just walking around this house kind of blindly, and you're just trying to stay away from her. That's the most that I can gather from this. So we're just going to keep doing that, stemming away from her. We still haven't seen a lot of the clown yet. And we've seen a little bit of the girl with the white hair when he fell into the pit in that room, in the cave. And she started walking at us. And we've seen that guy in the tuxedo one time in the bathroom. And that was it. We haven't been in the bathroom since then because of that. But, um, yeah, that's that's where we're at so far. So let's, let's uh, jump into the game. And, like, every time you die, you have to restart, I guess, back at that checkpoint. So I'm curious if we're going to be at 1 o'clock or where we're going to be at. Because I, I can't take too much more of this. This is... This game is really stressful. Is that 1? It is 1 o'clock. Very good. Very, very good. Don't stay still. Winky face. <laughs> Who was that? Oh, not okay. Oh, she's gonna. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow, I don't like him at all. I'd rather deal with Emily. One o'clock. He. I know it's loud. He jumped on us so freaking quickly. So I'm curious if we need to go. Oh my god! What do we do? So we went the one way. Well, the door did not open, and he gets us. And then, hello, little girl. And then we went the way that the door opens, and he still gets us. Okay, so Emily's back. Very confused. Don't stop. Stay still. That is what I'm doing. Okay, so this is the longest we have survived. That light is... Ah, what was that sound? Oh, okay, buddy. He's behind us. No! Oh! <laughs> so I am very, very, very confused. This is way more... Way more intense... Than the last one we did. Um, it says don't stay still. And believe me, we are not staying still. <laughs> He's very close by. Oh my god! I wasn't even in the basement! I wasn't even in that room! I'm so confused. So we're gonna go back into the kitchen, into that room, and we're gonna go downstairs and face that albino chick again. And damn it, she's gonna like it. Alright. Stick at the plan, stick at the plan. Oh, I want you especially. <laughs> oh! Terrified. Oh my god. Okay. Where? 
Okay. <laughs> what the? He's not attacking us. <laughs> oh hell. Oh! She's back! The little grudge girl's back! For the clown, if we just stay still, he doesn't attack us. But for the girl, if we stay still, she attacks us. If that makes sense. So when the clown's there, we need to stay still. When the girl's there, we need to run. It's a theory. It says don't stay still though. <laughs> oh my god, this is terrifying. I don't like this at all. And he's gone. Okay, very good. Very good. Oh, I like this a lot. Oh, I'm having so much fun playing this game. This I want this light on. <laughs> oh my god, it's the freaking clown. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, stay moving. Now we gotta stay moving. <sighs> She's right in front of us. What do we do? I seen her drop down from the ceiling. <laughs> I don't like him. Look at his face. Very. <sighs> I think we have it finally figured out now. Hello? Is she even moving? <gasps> we did it! Mr. Tatters, that's his name. Awesome, good deal. Awesome. Oh. Oh! What the hell? What the hell? Oh my god! No, I can't do this. Alright, so I think I'm gonna call it for this part. Um, we just have- we just defeated Mr. Tatters. That's the clown. And the next guy is this little guy in the tuxedo. He actually runs at you. So... The only option I can see for that is to run. So whenever we hear him, we just need to run. So between him, the guy running, the clown when he pops up, we have to stop. And then the little girl who we have to find, I guess, if we stare at her, you know, we're good. But we can't stay still with her because she'll, she'll get us. So between those three, we have our hands pretty full. Um... So I think that's how we need to go about doing it next episode is whenever we get this crazy guy in this tuxedo with the high-pitched voice who sounds like he's from Boston or some shit. We need to just run for our lives. So thank you guys for watching so much. I This is the most stressful freaking game pretty much behind Outlast 2 or Slender Man for that matter that I've played in a while. Um, I'm glad that we can actually figure it out that we're getting somewhere. I think we're at 2 o'clock now. But uh, thank you guys for watching so much, and uh, I will see you on part three.